Computer memory prices are so expensive right now, and a lot of people are debating if they should start building their computer now or just wait for the prices to come down. Let me just tell you why prices are so expensive and what you can do now in this very tough situation. There are several reasons why memory prices are going so expensive, and the main one is AI servers. A lot of IT companies are using AI to compute their own data and to provide services to other clients, creating a high demand for memory RAM and graphics card usage. Not only that, they also have a contract with RAM manufacturers until April of 2026, creating that exclusive access to them for the RAM, where the consumers are left out paying more expensive prices. The second reason is DDR4. DDR4 has been out for a while, and now it is time for a lot of people to upgrade, and many people have upgraded, creating that demand for prices to also go up. DDR5 is almost double the speed than DDR4, making people wanting to switch to a better and faster technology. And let me tell you, this is not the first time that we see computer component prices going so expensive. I actually went through 2017 prices for a graphics card when there was a lot of crypto mining, then during the pandemic in 2019, 2020, for not having enough supplies for a graphics card, and now for memory prices. And I will tell you exactly what I have done through these high prices in the past and what it's gonna be more convenient for you moving forward. Now let's see how we can approach these high prices for the RAM and how we can come afloat depending on your needs. I will say that you might be falling under these three main categories. Now, let's begin with the first one. Let's say that you already have a computer with 16 gigs or 32 gigs of RAM on DDR5. And for you, I would say to just be patient and wait. There is no need to buy more RAM when a lot of the video games require 16 gigs or 32 gigs of RAM, depending on the resolution. Category or group two might be those people that are on DDR4 and they wanna to upgrade to DDR5. Now, here's exactly what I would do. I will start buying components such as the case, motherboard, and the CPU, hold it for a bit, and sell my DDR4 components and put it towards the DDR5, and I will just wait a little bit longer, probably a few months for the RAM prices to come down. And I know at the very beginning, I said that a lot of these companies have a contract with RAM manufacturers until 2026, but to be quite honest, you can be using your computer now that it's on DDR4, just be patient and start buying all the components that might be very cheaper right now. The third category is for people that don't have any computer at all and they want to start from scratch. So for those people, I will suggest to buy all the components, including the RAM. I know that it sounds crazy and you'll hear a lot of people saying like they need 32 gigs of RAM, but in reality, you can start with 16 gigs for 1080p gaming and then upgrade once the prices come down. And as you can see, there are retailers that are selling bundles that can save you a lot of money. Now, there might be a fourth category, and that's content creators and business owners. And I do understand that a lot of people do not talk to you when it comes out for computer components, but I do actually want to mention that if you need to buy all these components, I will say that this is the right time to buy because uh, there are so many components that are way cheaper. You can get a cooler at a very affordable price, even for um, power supply and cases, at the end of the day, I completely understand that nobody wants to pay for overpriced RAM, but you're gonna be saving so much money on power supply, case, motherboard, and CPU once you start putting them all together and adding that total, and you will see that it actually balances out. And my last recommendation is using the following tools. Amazon just integrated pricing history where you can check the price history for all these components, especially for the RAM, just keep checking on them. And if you see that the price goes down, you can actually just go in, compare the prices and to see if it's actually worth it to buy it now. And also PC Part Picker is another tool that I use to check parts frequently on the prices. And you can see if they're more expensive now than last year or a few months ago. And with all of this being said, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you gonna be building a computer now or just wait for the prices to come down? And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.